So I'm going to show you how to write your first Java program. Uh, we're going to start right from the beginning by installing Java. We then install a development environment and write our first Hello World program. So first I'm going to download and install Java. Okay, so we go to oracle.com slash java and download java and we want to download, we need to make sure we're downloading the JDK um, because uh, JRE is Java Runtime Environment, JDK is Java Development Kit we need the JDK to be able to compile our Java programs. So we download the JDK, we get the latest version. Um, download and run the JDK installation. Okay, so that's successfully installed. Um, when, whenever I'm given an option when I'm installing anything, I'm just leaving it to the default option. Now I'm going to go to Eclipse.org. Now Eclipse is a IDE or Integrated Development Environment. This is where we type in our code and it's where we can compile our code and debug it and do all sorts of things. Basically, it's a Java editor. And Eclipse is good because it's free and it's open source. So it's a fully featured IDE for Java and it's free. So let's download Eclipse. So eclipse.org, clicked on download and download the latest version of this. Okay, so we want to install the Eclipse ID for Java developers. And again, we're accepting all default options. So Eclipse has finished installing, we click launch. Eclipse actually requires Java to install, so if we hadn't installed Java, we would have been prompted along the way to install Java before installing Eclipse. But we've installed Java, we've installed Eclipse, and Eclipse is just starting up now. Okay, so the first time we run Eclipse, we get this sort of uh, startup page. Uh, we can click always show welcome screen at startup if you want to explore that later But for now, I don't want to look at this. So I'm just going to go to the workbench in the corner there So I'm going to create a Java project and I'm going to call the project hello world For now, I'm going to click don't create for the module And when this project's created, I'm going to right click on the source folder and say new class. I'm going to call this class hello world and click finish. And in this class, I'm going to write the following public static void main and in brackets string with a capital S open and close square brackets space args now we'll talk about what all this means later in the in the playlist the beginners java playlist 
but for now we're just going to write our simple hello world program so I'm going to put curly brackets this indicates that th this is a main method the start and the end of the main method and these curly brackets indicate the start and the end of the hello world class and in here I'm going to write hello world to the console and the way we do that is system out system dot out dot print ln and then in brackets and in quotes hello world and we end our Java commands with a semicolon. Now we can save that, right click on the hello world class that we've written over here in the package explorer and say run as Java application and that should open a console and it says hello world. So that's our first hello world program in Java. If you want to keep learning, then keep watching the Java Beginners playlist. If this is all too simple for you, then check out the rest of my channel for some other Java videos. Thanks for watching.